guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if this is your first time here, and I'm very excited to show you guys my Majuri Diamond Collection. So this is actually my entire Majuri corner over here specifically. So I have my box. This is also a jewelry box by Majuri, and all of the jewelry in here is from a jury and it is as you guys can see this is the box I actually got this during their Black Friday sale when they had 20% off so this is pretty much what the collection looks like so with the Black Friday sale like I said everything was 20% off but for the first time ever Majuri is having another sale which is 15% off all of their diamond products so this is their first ever diamond week and it is from today February 1st and until February 7th. Moving on to my little Majuri corner before I actually start showing you my specific diamond collection. I also have this little home product here, also from Majuri. This was a collaboration between Majuri and Claude. Claude. It is a collaboration between Majuri and Claude and it's a really cute home piece and I like to just leave it here because sometimes when I come home or whatever it is or from going out instead of sorting my jewelry and putting it all back if I know that I'm going to wear it immediately the next day or if I just need to take it off because I'm going to a weight training class and just need to or sometimes I'm just too lazy to sort it I will just immediately take off my jewelry and put it here just because that way I will have easy access to it. Here I also have have my Majuri pouch. As you guys know, I travel a lot with this pouch. So I just leave it here because I also travel a lot. So then that way I can easily put all of my jewelry in my travel pouch and then go traveling. The last thing I want to show you guys are the two items that I got for Diamond Week. So the first item that I got is this necklace right here. This is in white gold. And this might look familiar to a lot of you if you have seen a lot of my Majuri videos before because I actually got the gold vermeil option a while ago in white so this is a necklace that i got before which i wore a lot and the reason why i wanted to get the white gold one this time is because as i mentioned from some of my videos i'm doing a lot more white gold pieces instead of just solid yellow gold a lot of you guys know i'm a huge fan of their solid yellow gold of course like gold has had such a long run but the reason why i got this is because in the last few years white gold and basically the silver metal color has made a really big comeback. I wanted to start incorporating more white gold and silver pieces in my collection. And for all of the shoots that I've had this year with silver and basically white gold and stuff like that and all the sparkly theme, I realized I didn't have a silver slash white gold necklace. So I definitely needed this. And as usual, my whole theme is to try to get a necklace that I didn't have to take off just in case. So this one is definitely going to serve me properly. The second thing that I got is just the one earring for my ear. This is pretty much just a announcement for you guys. If you guys didn't know, Majuri actually also sells single studs. So if you guys want to just get the one stud, maybe if you lost it or ruined it or something like that. It's gonna really cut into your uh, scarf and it fell off because uh, some idiot. Is, uh, uh, An uh, idiot. And he's taken it off. He's never taken jewelry off before. And you know, he looked really hard on the ground and couldn't find it. Yeah. So but yeah, if you can't find it, Majority still sells that one singular. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, if in my case, my earring got stuck to my scarf and then it dropped on the ground and couldn't ever find it anymore. So instead of spending your money on two earrings, you can actually just get the one stud, but just read carefully because I also have made the mistake in the past where I would get the charms thinking that there were two because one for each ear and then only one shows up. So make sure you read the description properly because don't make my mistake. Okay, anyway, without further ado, let me get into my diamond collection because I really want you guys to take advantage of this first ever diamond week and sale. Usually Majuri just has their sale for Black Friday for 20% off. So this is the next closest thing. So if you missed out then, you can still save some money now for 15% off between February 1 to 7. Most of my favorite pieces from Majuri are with diamonds anyways. What's your go-to diamond necklace? Okay, my go-to diamond necklace, if you guys have seen my videos before, you will know, is definitely the large diamond necklace. There are two on the site and this 
one is definitely my favorite. The bigger one just really is the right proportion for me, I think. The really small one is a little too dainty for me. What I love about this necklace is that it is just honestly so, so, so classic. It is worth the splurge for sure. And especially now with the sale, you definitely should take advantage of it if you don't have this piece in your collection because there's just no way this is ever gonna go out of style and it really, really goes with everything. Because it is also solid gold, you can definitely keep this on your neck at all times. You do not ever have to take it off and that's why I really like this necklace. A close second, honestly, is one of the pieces I'm wearing today on my neck. So this one is the initial diamond piece. Unlike this one here, which is connected to the pendant, this one is actually just a charm. So if you have an existing chain already, you can definitely just buy the charm instead of buying both the chain and the pendant. One interesting thing that I really like about the pendant is being able to layer it together. So I layered it here with a, another pendant from a jury and this is another initial. So this one I got it in the letter L and the diamond piece I got it in the letter W. Together it makes up my initial and I get to wear it together. I also got my mom this piece as well and it just complements her really well. We also match in that way because her first name is Jenny, so we weren't going to match our first initials, so it was easier for us to match our last names. It makes such a great gift. So if you happen to be watching this and needing to buy someone a gift for Valentine's Day, I highly recommend this pendant as well. It's so personal and it's so nice and very dainty, so it would make a really good gift. So Lisa, what is your favorite diamond ring? Okay, honestly, my favorite diamond ring, I almost can't have just one answer because a lot of my favorite diamond pieces are within the ring category. So I'm gonna break down this question a little bit further. I would say that my favorite everyday diamond ring is probably this one that I'm wearing right over here. It is the diamond dome ring. This one I've had for so long. It's just such a statement piece, but it is still dainty enough for you to wear every day. So unlike the solid gold dome piece, this one actually is thinner with diamonds on it, so it still looks very dainty as you guys can see on my hand. My favorite statement piece is probably the diamond baguette ring. There's two versions now. There's one where you only see the baguette at the top and there's one that goes all the way around. I've fallen in love with the one that goes all the way around. It obviously came in afterwards. If you want to splurge on the one that goes around, I think it's super nice and just even when your rings twist and turn, that one will always stay in place. And I love layering it with the open diamond ring. So these are sort of my two favorite everyday pieces. My favorite statement piece is the diamond soft Charlotte piece. So this is what the ring looks like. This one has been a favorite of so many people's. My mom, <laughs> she even borrows this ring a lot. The first year that I showed you this ring, a lot of you actually ditched all of your items in your basket to swap out for this one ring. So if you haven't already, or if you have been eyeing this for a while, or if you have missed out on the Black Friday sale, I highly recommend that you check it out for this sale because this ring is just such a statement piece. The ring that I get the most compliments on would definitely be this ring right here. So this is the diamond pave ring and this one I get the most compliments on and I would say that this is also the one where most of the time people ask me and I show them, it's the one they actually for sure go and buy. I think it's because it's a combination of how how great the ring looks in general and also the price point. Not as expensive as the soft diamond Charlotte ring, but it is also a really, really cute diamond piece. So this one is definitely the one I get the most compliments on and questions on. And I feel like the ring that most people end up going with. I know this is a silly category, but the diamond ring that is most comfortable for me is actually this ring right here. I say this so many times, but this ring, I don't know, the way that it is designed, it is just butter on your fingers and during the times when your hands are swollen because it is hot outside and it is really really puffy this ring still just fits really really well and I just feel like this ring has always been very comfortable so I end up pulling this ring out a lot um, more than some of my other rings because it is just overall really really comfortable when I wear it so it also makes a great everyday piece but if you are looking for something a little bit more statementy I would definitely go with the first two rings that I showed you. So in terms of earrings, so my favorite, I wanna call it triple threat 
earring stack that is my favorite are the hoop diamond earrings so this one the reason why I love it is because first of all you can get it in all different sizes you can get it in large medium and small I just love wearing all three of them together and what I really really like about it is that you want to get the ones that clip in together to make a full hoop because what I really like about it if you get the ones that also close up together is you can further customize it by adding hoop charms and that would make everything a little bit more different but for a very very classic look just going with the large medium medium and small hoop. If you also have three piercing, then you can kind of have this really nice classic style. It's just very, very just symmetrical, consistent. It's not like all these different designs. It's a very classic look. This is probably my favorite triple threat diamond piece. So my favorite sparkly piece whenever it is a glamorous night out, I definitely love these earrings here. These are the bold hoop earrings and they are the white gold edition. I also got the smaller bold hoop in also in white gold and I just really like stacking it up along with the first earrings that I showed you guys, the ones that I lost. I love pairing all three of them together. I'm also gonna be pairing it with a new white gold necklace that I just got. My most asked diamond earring piece would definitely be this one in the middle here, the one with the little pearl dangling from the bottom. This one, every time I wear this and I post a TikTok video, a lot of people have asked me where it's from and what it is. So this one has the little pearl just dangling from a bold, small diamond bold hoop. It's really, really dainty, but at the same time, still very classic and statementy. So I definitely recommend checking that out as well. My favorite bracelet is definitely this diamond tennis bracelet. It is just so beautifully designed and even the clasp of this bracelet is not your classic clasp that is your lobster clasp. This one just has double security as it should because this bracelet is not cheap by any means. And it is just also another item that I get the most questions on. And it is probably one of my favorite pieces from a jury of all time in general, no matter what category, definitely the top one out there. My newest bracelet is this one right here. This is the diamond bar bracelet, I believe it's called. This is what it looks like. And I just absolutely love this bracelet because it is also very classic. And this one is also very dainty and just goes really well with everything. Before I end the video, I just want to remind you guys to shop the sale. So once again, it is from February 1st to 7th for 15% off all diamond products. And if you're watching this video when the sale is over, don't worry because you can still use my discount for 10% off with any of the links down below. Your discount will be automatically applied for people who are shopping Majuri for the first time. But anyway, that is pretty much my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my little diamond jewelry collection tour and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!